G'day One More Fly Squad, welcome back to another Thursday trip report. It's a bit chilly in it, but we're going to Cebu, the Philippines, so we're wearing tropical clothes. So today we're going to fly Cathay Pacific A330 economy class from here to Cebu. Now without further ado, let's head inside, get warm and check in. Happy Lunar New Year from Hong Kong Airport. We're very early this morning. Our flight to Cebu is one of the earliest Cathay departures from Hong Kong. It coincides with Cathay arrivals from Europe, North America, Sydney, Melbourne and Johannesburg. Majority of the passengers are connecting passengers and that applies to most morning flights so you don't see many people at the check-in hall. We just made it through security and immigration, all done within 5 minutes. Eligible passport holders, including Australians, can use e-gates when leaving Hong Kong. I'm a Qantas Gold member or One Watt Sapphire so before any one watt flight, including Cafe Pacific, I could use the lounges at Hong Kong Airport. They are the Qantas Hong Kong Lounge, the Deck, the Wing and the Pier Business Lounges. My favourite would be the Qantas Lounge. Unfortunately, that one doesn't open until 7.30. It's currently 6am, so I'll have to use one of the cafe lounges. Our flight to Cebu departs from gate 67. It's like the most perfect gate because the Pier Business Lounge is adjacent to gate 67. Gate 67, or the Pier Lounge, is located about 15 minute walk on the Travelator from Immigration, or it's a 2 minute train ride plus a 5 minute walk. Welcome to the Pier Business Lounge. This would be my favourite cafe business lounge at this airport. It's an enormous lounge. The moment you walk in, you'll be in the food hall. It's not exactly buffet here, but deli style rather. So let the staff know what you want to eat and they'll plate it for you. You'll also find a coffee cart where you can order barista made coffee. In the food hall, it's mainly western food. For Asian cuisine, you'll have to dig in further in the lounge. When you're in a cafe lounge, whether in London, Singapore, Bangkok or Hong Kong, you can't miss the noodle bar. Here you'll find a small buffet section of Asian food like fried rice, fried noodles and dim sum. You can also order fresh wonton noodles, dandan noodles and ramen. After some scrambled eggs and bacon in the food hall and a dandan noodle from the noodle bar, we moved on to the tea house. Here you can order a pot of nice Chinese tea, have it with a cake or Portuguese tarts. The tea house is also a great place to work on your assignment and reply to emails. Once you're done eating and you want to relax, go take a shower and then find a comfortable sofa to look over the tarmac. Cathay Pacific has done a great job designing this lounge. They use carpet in quieter area to reduce noise. I like the plants and wooden touches throughout the lounge. Importantly, charging outlets and USB ports are available throughout the lounge as well. We have a flight to catch so it's time to head back upstairs. We saw our plane the moment we got up the escalator. Our aircraft today is a 22 year old Cathay Pacific Airbus A330-300 Bravo Hotel, Lima Tango. This aircraft was delivered to Cathay Pacific in 2001. Then it was transferred to Cathay Dragon in September 2019. Well, that didn't last too long. It was transferred back to Cathay Pacific in October 2020. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Welcome on board Cafe A330. He pointed us the wrong way. Cafe has five different configurations of A330. We should have turned left. Our seat today is 42A in the first cabin of the three economy cabins. Now let's go through the seat features quickly. First, cook hook, then a touchscreen TV and USB port. You can't adjust the TV angle. Right underneath the TV, you've got storage space for your personal items. You can fold the tray table in half and move it back and forth. There's also a cup holder attached. There are a total of four seat pockets. It's great for sorting out your items. Legroom is pretty good, about 32 inches here. For 6 foot 4, 
still a little bit room left if he sits upright. Universal power sockets are located underneath your seat, there's one for every passenger. On every seat you'll find a soft adjustable headrest. And now I'm going to try the recline. It's pretty generous, it's really comfy. Cathay's in-flight entertainment is fantastic, the movie selection is endless. For TV show you can choose from HBO Max, BBC Channel, Disney Plus and Hong Kong's TVB. Six foot four is a science nerd, so he's gonna watch Oppenheimer. The in-flight map is interactive. There's also information about your destination. Complimentary headsets are available, and you'll find them in your seat pocket. Here's the view from 42A. It feels like and looks like we're in business class. We're parked right next to the JL767. You don't see it every day now. Just before we take off, the crew are handing out arrival cards for the Philippines. Today and joining me on the flight deck, senior first officer Billy Chow. Together we'd like to extend you a very warm welcome. Our flight time to Cebu, two hours and 15 minutes. In charge of the cabin today is your in-flight service manager Edward. Edward and his team are here to help you in any which way they can. And if you do require any assistance, please call on them. Shortly they're going to show you the in-flight safety briefing. This contains all the safety aspects of this Airbus A330 aircraft and I would ask that you Full attention. Shortly after takeoff, we're going to switch the seatbelt signs off, but may I suggest whilst you're seated to keep your seatbelts fastened. I do apologise, we are running a little bit late at the moment. We've had some passengers joining us um, and connecting flights, and at the moment we've just got a couple of uh, issues that we are resolving at the moment. I'm sitting here with the engineer, and we hope to have that all sorted out in the next two or three minutes. Um, a little bit of cargo still to go on, so I'd say we'll be pushing back in about 5 to 10 minutes. We'll be able to make that time en route as we have quite a short uh, flight time compared to a block time. Uh, weather for our arrival, expecting a light breeze from the north, generally fine conditions and a temperature of around 28 degrees Celsius. I'll leave you now to sit back, relax and enjoy the cafe service just prior to our descent into Cebu. I'll get back to an update on arrival time and weather. Thank you. From the moment you begin your journey, we are here to make the experience effortlessly smooth and enjoyable. Because your safety is important to us, please take a few minutes to watch our video.
Shortly after takeoff, the cabin crew began the service on this flight. On this two hour flight, you'll receive a full breakfast. Today, they're offering two options. First is the chicken sausage with cherry tomatoes and scrambled eggs. The second option is congee and fried vegetarian noodles. Both options come with a fruit bowl, yogurt, bread, strawberry jam, and butter. They don't use plastic cups anymore on cafe. And on most flights, if not all flights, you get metal cutlery for your food. It is at this moment I reflected on my Singapore Airlines flight from Bali to Singapore just two months ago. Today we have a very similar flight duration, but you get so much more food on cafe. On Singapore Airlines, they give you a tiny little box and a cake and they call it a day. That being said, and to be very fair, Singapore Airlines does have a much better cocktail selection and they have Wi-Fi. Cafe don't have it on their A330. Enough of the mandatory cafe and Singapore battle. The Western option was okay, nothing too special about it. The breakfast we had in the lounge was much better. The congee and noodles on the other hand, I was surprised how good it was. They're both really basic food and cafe made them so flavorful, particularly the congee. I really wish there was more. The in-flight purser and managers really looked after the Emerald members throughout the flight. Each of them received a bottle of Evian water upon boarding and their trays got collected first when they finished eating. Coffee and tea are served right after the meal service. Six foot four got a milk coffee, I got a black tea. It was a very perfect flight until I had to go to the lavatory. There are five lavatories for economy passengers, one located right behind this mini cabin and four located further back. Unfortunately, the one right behind us became unserviceable, so we all had to use the one at the back and we also had to wait for the cabin crew to finish collecting the meal trays at the back of the aircraft. For those of us in the mini cabin, it was about a 20 minute wait to use the lavatory. That's about one fifth of the time we spent at cruising altitude. Look, it's the Philippines. I really like how the clouds are just over the land, not over the water. We've started our descent into Cebu Mactan Airport, so let's quickly conclude this trip port with cafe right here right now. Our journey today started at Hong Kong Airport, check in quick and easy, so was security and immigration, barely anyone. We then took the train to the Pier Business Lounge. We had some really delicious English breakfast, dandan noodles and dim sum. Once on board, we got pointed the wrong way, but I don't blame the cabin crew, Cathay have way too many configurations for their A330, which they will change in the coming weeks and months. New A330 seats and configurations are on their way, and I really really hope they don't reduce the comfort level in economy because it's so comfortable right now. The recline is perfect, there's good seat back support, and I also like how there's two power points underneath the seats instead of just one. You usually need to share it with your neighbour. Moving on to food and beverages, it was excellent today, especially the congee and noodles. The only slightly annoying thing about this flight was how the mini cabin lavatory was not available. As a result, there were long queues in the aisles. So that's it I've got to say today, thank you so much for watching. For your reference, the airfare between Hong Kong and Cebu is quite expensive on Cathay. This flight is really catered for those connecting from Europe and North America. This flight coach shares with Air Canada, hence the expensive fare if you start from Hong Kong. The other code share partner on this flight is Philippine Airlines. If you don't care about one world points or status, I suggest you book through Philippine Airlines. It's about 30% cheaper, but just keep in mind if you've got one world status, there's no lounge access for you. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you made it here. I upload a trip report like this one every single week. So be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button next to it so you don't miss out again. After landing into Cebu, we're heading to Semalon Island. We're spending the entire trip there and there's a vlog about it just after we disembark. So I guess I'll see you later in the vlog. Bye bye.
Look at this poster. It's exactly where we're going. There are two things you need to do before you arrive. A custom form, the one they hand out to you on the cafe flight, and also a digital arrival card. You can do that before your departure. Immigration today took about 10 minutes in the queue, not too bad. And then our driver from the hotel picked us up. This is going to be a very long ride, five hours. Five hours later, we made it to the port where we're going to catch a ferry to the resort. Those men, they're strong. The boat trip's going to take about 15 minutes. We just made it to Blue Water, Sumalon Island. Thank you. It's been about six hours since we landed at Matang Airport. Is it worth the travel time? Yes, look at that. So we just checked in. We're just going to go check out our bungalow. The reason why I picked this resort is because I came here five years ago with my siblings. We didn't stay here though, we just came here for a day trip and we regret it. We regret it not staying here at all, so I've been waiting for five years to revisit and stay here. So we're inside. We've got two double beds. It's a very massive room. It's also quite old, but who cares when you've got the beautiful beaches and swimming pool. That red and green thing is your do not disturb sign. So you put that outside in the morning. Red means do not disturb. Green means housekeeping police. I'm just heading into the bathroom. Look at that. It's so big. There's also a rain shower. Unfortunately, no bathtub. Being on a resort island means you're going to get scammed by the hotel restaurant. So we got some snacks from Hong Kong. Good morning. How do I? Hey. Help. <laughs> How do I twist this? Do I close them? They're going to be, these are going to be shut. <gasps> Good morning. Hello? Ah, oh. oh, yeah, it's a baby. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 We're not doing breakfast today. 
Our first activity is to do snorkeling. Remember this swimming pool? It's from the poster at the airport. This 